guys, I'm Evan Espet, a Supreme of Rugby player. You're watching Gareth Mason on Walking Tour with G-Man. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we focus on World Rugby Rankings that have currently been updated and as you see in the title, the Springboks are on the rise. They have recently just taken over England. Quite a few changes within this World Cup, uh, well, Rugby World uh, Rankings. So that's what I want to discuss as we build up to... Um, what's going to be one hell of an international season, which technically kicks off next week. I mean, we've got the Pacific Island teams still going at it this weekend. So Rugby Championship takes a break. But next week, Rugby Championship final rounds starts. We begin the warm-up games, the summer tour, everything kicks off. International Rugby is going to be back with a bang, and I'm going to be covering it all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any notifications of when I upload a video. There is a lot coming, so don't go anywhere. Let's take this channel to another level. Having said that, obviously, after the past weekend's rugby games, we saw a few changes here and there. South Africa beat or drawing with New Zealand, sorry, in a very interesting test match. Um, first half dominated by South Africa, second half dominated by New Zealand. Try scoring changes that changed the game in the first half, then it changed the game and the outcome in the second half, which was truly remarkable, having said that. I mean, unbelievable rugby from both teams. A lot to work on. There were mistakes. There were a lot of improvements that needs to happen from players, from teams, from overall, just the systems, um, if they wanted to really grow and develop and get better. Um, if we look at Australia and, and um, Argentina, Australia finally getting a win back to their names, which is a good move for them in the right direction as they head on to the Bledisloe Cup, which is a, obviously a massive situation for them and a big, big, obviously, rivalry with the All Blacks, one of the greatest. I mean, it's, it's going to be an exciting game. And the fact that they've got their tails up now, they will definitely be feeling that they can maybe have what some sort of a chance of beating the All Blacks. And if that happens... We'll be back and we'll be seeing another change in the World Rugby Rankings because obviously Wales get their um, start or international new season underway in the summer tours. So if they win and um, New Zealand lose, Wales will be the new number one team in World Rugby and that will be for the first time in 10 years, which is would be one hell of a remarkable achievement for Wales. Um, and um, it very once again, the talk and the competitiveness of these international teams as we build up to this Rugby World Cup, which is going to be absolutely insane. So, so much rugby on the line. Argentina currently sitting at 10th place. I mean, if they don't pick up a win, Japan are right on their tails in the Rugby World Rugby. So they're really going to need to settle in and start playing competitive rugby again because what we saw against Australia the other day wasn't Argentina. They were looking poor. They weren't looking um, as energetic, as passionate and pumped as they have in the past. I mean, for me, well, I think a lot of us predicted a, a possible Argentinian win, but that didn't happen. Australia just took it on and uh, really showed up and, and played some um, a lot better rugby and improved and capitalised on opportunities. Argentina missed opportunities, handling errors, uh, Australia's scrums were stronger, lineouts were better. It's just, it was a messy game from Argentina. Again, it wasn't pitch perfect for um, um, the Aussies either, but it was an improvement. And um, if, again, if Argentina want to rise up the rankings, they're going to need to start getting wins behind them. Obviously, the rankings seem sound quite confusing because obviously Argentina have done pretty well. Why the hell are they sitting at 10th? A lot of people are asking. But if you remember who they've been playing in the past, I mean, they haven't been beating the bigger teams. And in order to rise up, they need to beat a team like New Zealand, South Africa, Australia. So if they beat South Africa, sure, they're going to shoot up to 9th, I think. So it's all in the thing. It's a, it's a hell of a confusion. But again, if we go back to June last year, Argentina weren't in great places. They weren't winning big games. They were losing to um, higher-ranking teams and also the odd week or two. So for that, they shot down in the rankings. Um, again, it's an interesting system and sometimes confusing. There's actually a website where you can go and calculate the fixtures to predict where you'll see the teams, which is pretty cool. Um, but overall, they're going to need to bounce back up. Again, 
the Northern Hemisphere teams are kicking off their season next week. I mean, Ireland are playing, Wales are playing. So many teams are wanting to prove a point. England are also there. They're going to want to whoop South Africa back down again. So it's really going to be a battle, and it's going to be a battle of the rankings next week. Hence why I wanted to do a video now, and obviously one next week as we're building on to this Rugby World Cup, which is going to be insane. So, as a South African, I'm very pleased, I'm very proud of my team for coming a long way. I mean, we really weren't in a great place two years ago. Now, to be sitting quite well, a record against New Zealand, one loss and a draw. I mean, I'm proud of that. We've played Australia last year, we beat them twice, we drew with them the year before. Argentina, we always have our argy barges with them, but I'm excited for this final contest with them. So if South Africa can continue this winning ways, we will slowly but surely move up. It's very close. Second, third and fourth are very close. So whoever wins and loses is going to determine the final outcome of the, the Rugby World Rankings as we approach the World Cup. And I mean, that's going to be very interesting to see. And then you go into the World Cup, that's going to totally throw everything out and we're going to see teams rise and drop um, which is going to be absolutely exciting and it just makes me even more pumped for this Rugby World Cup. So, current Rugby World Rankings, if we have to, to, to look at them, obviously New Zealand continuing to be at the top but um, the biggest climbers, South Africa moved from 5th to 4th, um, Italy moved from 13th to, oh, sorry, from 14th to 13th, well done to them, Zimbabwe moved from 36th to 35th, um, and then the biggest fall is Uganda, from 39 to 42. England from 54th, as we know. Tonga from 14th, uh, sorry, from 13th to 14th. And then, yeah, so interesting stats there. Obviously, they certain other teams are playing in the Pacific Islands Championship. So results are going to pick it up. So it will be interesting to see what the final outcome will be. That's going to do for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. Um, don't go anywhere. I promise you so much more rugby content to come. You're not going to want to miss it. Hit the subscribe, turn on the bell, notifications, and I'll see you real soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to his channel for all rugby content. Stay safe and never give up.